Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. I'm Serious JG. Last time we killed an entire video with a party. Probably not the most exciting party that uh, that I've ever been to. Probably not the most exciting party that you've ever been to. I don't know. I mean, we're, we're in the LP hobby. Probably none of us have been to like, you know, Studio 51 or whatever it's called. Like, super exciting party zones. But um, <laughs> still, that party did consist of singing two rude songs... Uh, drinking two shots of whiskey and a beer and um, telling a lot of people, for all intents and purposes, try to stay warm. So the socializing with the gang mechanic in this game is a bit, um, I don't know, it's not super effective. Uh, you're, you're trying to use a... You're trying to use a physical attacks on a rock-type Pokemon with this. What the Are you hell? the lunatic that's been shooting all them people? Me? We don't need any more problems than we've already got. So if it is you, calm down. Well, what is anyone else doing to make money for the gang? Oh, dear. Really? This is gonna be a long day. I got, I got an above average honor meter, Dutch. I will have you know, for everyone I kill, I greet at least one person. Yeah, he is talking about us, I believe, How but... You, oh, guten Morgen, Herr Strauss. Mr. Strauss? How was it looking around Blackwater when you got Sean? Not good. Not good. Yeah. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. There are chores we could be doing around camp to get honor, but, um... Dutch just put me in a foul mood, telling me to stop murdering everybody. The hell is that, man? Let's go hunt with Charles. Greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you simple minded fool. Hey, Bison. Don't be Bison? A Bison. How much you can get anything? There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple of long way off. Oh. Not for long. Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Sounds like a side quest. I hope I have the right gear for it. Okay, then, girl. So you met Sean? No, no. really, but it was I've before heard my him. time, of course. But yeah, he my ain't mother used to tell me stories time. of how her tribe moved with the bison. Anyway, he's he talking to me like I'm with him, so I better. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. Provided us with everything. Food, clothing, I thought I could just hold L2 and tools, keep up with them, but apparently not. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... They might have been Welch, that's what all Dragon thinks. <laughs> well, my father did that too. So you're not special, Arthur. Let's try over here, to the left. The true to the left. So they used to hunt buffalo, white people used to hunt buffalo by, uh, because they would kill more than they needed to, of course, famously, but they would, um, chase them off cliffs and then collect them at the bottom of the cliff. We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed. I'm going to teach you guys about conservation. And you see if you can bring one down, okay? Clean as you can. Okay. I'm trying to activate the binoculars so I can pick which one I want to look at. Well, I guess I don't have time. Buffalo baseball bison, feel that bison beat. Buffalo baseball bison, stampede, stampede, stampede. Yeah, I do not have my rifle, so this is. Oh, I do have my rifle. Where is he leading them? I don't get it. Yep. No, I'm trying to keep shooting the same one. It's 
So I don't know if I picked the best or worst of the bison because I didn't. Am I going to have enough uh, carrying capacity or is that why you came along for this side quest? I heard there's some really hot girls around here. Okay, let's go. Come on, girl. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Okay, the uh, carcass, I would assume. That's generally what attracts scavenger birds. But I think we're about to get a lesson about uh, conservation. You just rode straight through a cactus, friend. I don't know if you're if you got a problem with your own horse or... Oh, man, there's berries over there. Oh, mark this place on my map. We can come back here when we're done with our quest. Right in the middle of this uh, deer's body. It won't let me set a waypoint. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it's handy then. The, the deer right above the word twin in Twin Stack Pass. There's a bunch of uh, stuff here. But I want to get this back to Pearson. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Yep. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. All right. Lead the way. So, yeah, we're about to get our lesson, and, uh, this is, I mean, it is the classic example of, uh, the classic conservationist parable is the fact that the bison is almost extinct. What about some kind of gun-using cheetah? Trained bear with a machine gun? Oh, hold on, I gotta run over that rabbit. Oh, man, this will piss him off. I failed to run over those rabbits, but I was I was hoping to do that in the presence of like I'm Mr. Conservation Man. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Let's see if we can kill three guys with um, throwing knives here. I, did, I jumped off the horse automatically. That was not my call, by the way. You find anything, Arthur? Mood shine. There's a chest I should probably be inspecting before the story pulls us away. This chest does not appear to be searchable. Well, there's canned fruit. Dogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. But what are we doing? Are we going to go murder these guys? Is that the plan? Or we're going to go lecture them? I have a feeling it's going to end in bloodshed. We should have a good view from up here. Meanwhile, the uh, skin is getting lower quality as time passes. See some, some rabbits I could run over. Spoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. You guys just wandering around setting up camps at random within a short distance of each other. I saw a rabbit up here. I'm gonna try to run it over. Yeah. Bastard. Killing for fun. Think we 
Thinking tough? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Yeah, Arthur had a point there, but... Oh, there's a snake. Should have run it over with my horse, but it probably would have bit the horse. <laughs> then I have to suck the poison out of the horse, and that's... And then the horse would reward me later with anything I want from a gun shop. But only if I get lucky enough to run into that encounter. Look, more dead bison. It has to be that. Come on, wait up. I think they're just killing them for their tongues. The valuable buffalo tongues. I'm sorry, I was trying to steer left. I mean, you're the horse. You're the one who's actually, you know, I'm only directing you. You... There's not if enough guys for me to get the uh, bonus anyway. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we? Ah! Ah! It's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. Wait. What? Why are we interrogating him? What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, they probably work for the railroad. God damn it, tell us you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill. Yeah, they probably work for the railroad. That would be why. Like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right. Get out of here! Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, Mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why we didn't, did you do that? Well, we didn't he find out. To die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. He's just mad that we didn't murder. Oh, and I bought something that I can use to, uh, poison throwing knife pamphlet. A pamphlet with a recipe on how to craft poison throwing knives. Throwing knife, oleander sage plant. Take throwing knife and carefully rub oleander sage plant along the blade. Store in satchel B. Seems pretty, uh, simple. Yeah, I think of these guys probably should have uh, moved a little farther away from the, the kills. Can't carry any more horse reviver. Take a bread chunk. Apparently can't any more chewing tobacco. I saw something else flashing over here. An apple and some Kentucky bourbon. Because as Bobo pointed out in the comments, I seem to believe that no gift is possible other than bourbon. Well, before we can forget, let's go... Um yeah, you know, he was pretty mad uh, that we didn't murder those guys. Or that guy. But um, I'm kind of mad that part of our interrogation wasn't finding out who paid them to kill bison to make it look like Indians did it. I mean, I'm guessing it's the railroad company. I can't think of anyone else. That I believe that's historical fact that uh, railroad companies way, way back in the day uh, paid people to go kill buffalo uh, because buffalo would get on the, you know, the tracks and interfere with, um, with rail service. Oh, there's creep in time. I didn't even notice when we were, uh, I was using, you know, crazy assassin vision, and I didn't even notice the creeping time. It's creeping time, folks. So it shows you how observant I am. K-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1
can't carry any more. Probably going to find out that eating it's not going to do anything for me uh, after a minute either. Maybe we're lucky and these are berries. It's just more creeping time. I can't do a whole lot more with creeping time right now. Will he eat creeping time? Yes, he will. Or she will. Ah, you good, girl? Just so that I can actually pick one more up. Oh, I didn't mean to eat it. Shoot. Oh, well, there was one left, so. My cores are all full. One of them's even turned yellow, which I guess means it's super full. I'm not really 100% sure how that works. Um, my body has grown used to the effect of this plant. Yep. Hey, buddy. I'm just a plant. But now we can ride the range. Trying desperately to run over horses. I mean, rabbits. Okay, this has come up like a hundred thousand times off screen. We're finally going to deal with it. The lady who killed her husband and um, then found out that apparently that's against the law. Go figure. We assume she, she killed him. I guess we don't know that for sure. Talk all you want, lady. It won't make no difference. Prison transport. Keep clear. So, what did they do? The hell do you think you're doing? Boom. Now, you've used up my patience. Damn, guy got mad for a hurry. <laughs> oh, I would have figured I'd taken them both out there, but I guess not. Sucks. Now I'm not gonna be able to sell the. Uh... Oh come on! Let me out of here. Ugh. I'm trying to shoot the rock. You freed me to kill me? No. Wait, what the fuck? I didn't get my reward because I accidentally was trying to talk to her, and it—it's the same button as pulling a gun. Calm down, lady. Give me my reward. Oh, fuck this. Fine. Guess we're waiting for this random encounter to come up again. That sucks. This game, truly, there there are some... I would, I would... Yeah, you can tell me I'm incompetent, whatever. I would argue there's some truly awful stuff with these controls. Like, the same button you use to focus on somebody and talk to them makes you point a gun at them. Uh, if you have a gun out so it makes it awfully damn difficult to like you know people can speak while they have a gun in their hand it happens in movies all the time so I'm trying to talk to her and I automatically point a gun on her which automatically makes her start running away and stop being capable of interacted with you know I hit the button that you use to talk to people so whatever now um Curious to see exactly where the game puts us. Hopefully, I still have the buffalo pelt. Okay, because I was think one thing I was frustrated about was the knowledge that um, I was going to have to choose either the buffalo pelt or the wagon and give up on actually getting to use it because um, I wasn't going to get both. But the wagon, prison wagon, would have sold for good money. Probably enough to put us over the top to buy our last camp upgrade, as a matter of fact. So we'll see if we run into these people again. Hey there. Careful, I greeted that guy in the hopes that I would get some Paragon points, but could, at any time, you could accidentally pull a gun on someone you're trying to greet. Because I did notice him putting away the rifle.
Damn it. I'm trying to run over the rabbits. I gotta get I gotta pull that off five times, so now I will come off as a complete psychopath. Dutch is already upset that I was killing people off screen and stealing their wagons. Even though the game introduced that as a mechanic. And I'm the only one donating any money to the camp, and that's the primary way I'm making money. But nope. I had a different conversation off screen and then I loaded and it's, it hasn't re-triggered yet where yeah. one of the ladies in the camp just had a little heart to heart with me and I basically told her how fucked up I am in the head at the moment and um, killing lots of animals for no reason. And that was when I had done some off screen hunting for meat for the camp. So they introduce all these mechanics and then if you actually do them you get these uh, NPCs telling you that you're a psycho. Anyway, lots of deer tracks, but, um, yeah, here are the plants that we were, uh, seeing earlier. I'm just hoping some of them are berries. Parasol mushroom? Mmm. I don't know. I don't know if you want to eat those or not. Eating raw mushrooms is uh, potentially not wise. Ah, uh, well, it's giving me a new autosave. I might have just poisoned myself. Figure if I poisoned myself, I would just load again. What the f heck? Oh, I meant to pick that one up, not eat it. Shoot. Oh, well, it didn't say anything about having it being a special type of herb that was going to help anyone specific. Uh, so either I've already eaten one and forgot about it, or um, or eating those does nothing. And I have heard that um, wild carrots, those are good for horses anyway. You have discovered a gang camp. Hopefully this will stay on the map. I don't necessarily need to go dealing with it right now. So these were not the berries I was looking for, but... Here's a raspberry, but I think that's the only kind of berry I've already eaten. Your body's grown used to the effects of this plant. I just ate one. Alright, well, let's see if I can get real lucky and kill three guys with throwing knives at the gang camp. And we'll save, because that's a real good way also to get killed. First of all, I gotta actually find this gang camp. Here it is. Can't throw them from a crouch, it seems like. Um, no, that 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 was uh, kind of predictable, taking a knife to a gunfight, as it were. But I had, um, I guess I'd underestimated how difficult it is to kill guys with throwing knives in this game. Uh, so I'm going to be a chicken shit and load, because I'm pretty sure we get penalized for that, not to mention all my knives are gone now.
yeah, we lose like 11 bucks. So I'm going to be a little chicken shit and load. And um, I think we're going to ignore this gang camp because I just... Uh, I don't know, other than replaying a mission where you we're sneaking up on guys or going up to people who aren't armed or something. I don't understand how you're supposed to kill three people in ten seconds with throwing knives. You gotta be like right up in their face or because you're supposed to press and hold the trigger and release it to actually get enough uh, force to kill anybody. I'm pretty sure I only killed the first target and once I got up and started moving around I didn't get anyone else. But yeah, I have this vague notion that if I'm doing an LP I should be doing all the challenges and um, we might not see all the challenges successfully completed in this one. But the gang camp is still over there if I felt like getting froggy. But I think I'm just going to get this bison pelt sold go, and get on out of here. I don't believe the bison pelt is good enough that it, we need to go out of our way and take it to the trapper. I would do that with the legendary pelts, though. Yep. I think we can just take it to Pearson and it should be fine. Besides, we can always sell more bison pelts. Or find more bison pelts. Okay, now it's asking me again about autosave. Sure thing. Yeah, me. I'm back. The only guy that does anything in this gang. With a hey diddle diddle all day. I sang a song about a vagina with a hey diddle diddle all day. Well, we got a super cool stable now. Should probably be taken advantage of, but... 15 cents in camp funds, eh? The hey diddle diddle all day. He's got a sense of humor, all right. Forgot I have to carry the pelt to Pearson. And it's a poor pelt anyway, so. Oh, that's who Trelawney was. To stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime. Not till the plot requires it. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Arthur. Pelt's not going to fetch a tiny, tiny amount of money by itself. What are you? Oh, hello. Hey. Telling some kind of story about McCarty. So I got a wolf heart. Can't be sold. Good job, Arthur. I think cold as a day. Bear claw. I'm not sure where I'm getting these things. Can't be used in crafting or sold. All right, good enough. Thank you, Arthur. You heartless bastard. Oh, so, how are you? Molly. I'm Hi, Molly. Nice. How are you? How are you doing? I'm fine. That's okay, Dan. <laughs> hey, Tilly. Hey. Hey, she's a, a black female character. I didn't know we had one of those. Don't know if he had. Oh, you know what? No, we. She was on the mission where we went into town. That's right. We we have met her before. She missed the party somehow, but now what is this on the uh, the symbol? Home robbery with Javier. 
Well, that sounds like fun. I do like the way the game is uh, introducing some of these things that we can do for fun. And uh, Dutch might approve of this if it had involves less murder. Who knows? Maybe while we're doing our while we're on our way back from the home robbery, we'll even get that random encounter that um, where I rescued somebody by murdering law enforcement officers. And for some reason, she was scared of me afterwards. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this video. When we come back, um, we'll do stuff, I suppose. On the Mysterious JG, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll catch you next time with more Red Dead Redemption. Bye-bye.